I'm excited about Sunday's game. I, I, you know, you look at, at how long this season has been and all of a sudden you turn around and, and it's almost over. It's, uh, we have two more home games in the Irwin Center uh, and then hopefully a few more if we host. But um, I'm just looking forward to the competition and, and um, our team having an opportunity to get on, get on a different level. I, you know, it's, we've, I think, been sort of bogged down a little bit with uh, the end of season. And I think now, now all of a sudden there's four games left and you can kind of see the light. I'm hoping that we get into a different gear. How much of you guys slowing down has been tied to, to NECA? I mean, I'm sorry, all this <laughs> NECA talk to Amani and, and her dip in production the last few games? I don't think that's had a lot, you know, as much as everybody wants to make of it. I, I definitely think that it's just been the dog days of February. A lot, a lot of it is. Um, you know, you look at the films of, for example, the West Virginia game that was the first Big 12 game of the year. And the pace that we were both playing at uh, was enormously different than what I saw in our team and then even seeing West Virginia play in the last week or so, uh, they're, they're the same team I mean, as far as they're, they're as competitive as they ever have been. But the pace of the game slows because of two reasons. They're fatigued and everybody knows what everybody's doing. So you're not just gonna run up and down and do what you wanna do. So how do you re-energize the team for, for what you guys are looking for, obviously for the postseason play? Well, I think first of all, pointing out to them that they have two more opportunities in the Irwin Center. So, and again, we're assuming we're going to host and we're looking forward to that, but that's a whole different dynamic once you get into the NCAA tournament. You're, you're not playing the eyes of Texas and, and you're not having that opportunity to, to feel like it's a home game to completely. So I, I think just take advantage of every opportunity right now and enjoy the, the last stretch of this. And, um, you know, it's easy to reset your batteries. I think going into the Big 12 tournament, everybody gets excited about that. But uh, just remind them to have fun. Uh, it's it's definitely a grind, but the the light is there. Even with the fatigue, Wednesday saw Brady Sanders come off the bench big. How how huge is the depth that y'all have now that you are in the dog mm -hmm. days of February and going into March? Well, I think the depth is a big thing for our team, and we saw that on Wednesday night when we had some older players and some some starters that were struggling either shooting the basketball or just from an energy perspective. And you saw Brady come off the bench. Uh, Kelsey gave us good minutes. Bree is always that energizer and we missed her for a week or so. So um, as we go down the stretch to answer, uh, the, really reiterate the answer to the last question, which is that we need to probably use our bench a little bit more and get some of those players off the bench that will give us some energy because they're, you know, quite honestly, just not as fatigued from the minutes. Going back to the West Virginia game, mm -hmm. you guys started out fast, yeah. quickly, great, great pace, great tone in the game. But is that something, with given everything we're talking about here, mm -hmm. is that something that you're trying to push again for, for Sunday? Well, we've talked about it actually for the last week or two, but um, just haven't been able to execute it. Uh, it's not like our players don't recognize that we're really good when we get out of the gates early, but you also can flip that uh, and the fact that every single team saw what we did early in the Big 12 season, so that's sort of like their first objective is to make sure that they have good execution early too. So it's a battle between two teams that are trying to keep the other one from doing what they do best. And West Virginia is a good example of that. They, you know, when we played them the first game of the year, they have some really young players. So they were probably a little nervous about the Big 12, first Big 12 game. We have some experience. So I don't want to get too caught up in, you know, are we playing as fast? Are we playing at a, as high a level because we're still winning the majority of our games and you know we have to find a way to win in different ways you're not going to beat every team by 30 you're not going to get out of the gates every time and the fact that on wednesday we were able to regroup and kind of look like our old selves i thought in the second half i, I thought that was a real positive is that part of the kind of the tug of war there that you have only lost two games this mm -hmm. year and and there seems like they <clears> might be pressing a little bit or what, what you're saying there, I guess, is that kind of the, the tug, of, tug of war there to keep them mentally strong? Um, I, I think try not to over. I try not to overanalyze it too much in a sense of are you know are they feeling pressure or are they not? I, I think they they know what they want. And again, it, it, if you talk to, I went recruiting yesterday and saw five head coaches at a tournament 
out of state and every one of them say the same thing. It's, it's, we're tired. Kids are tired. Uh, so I think that me being able to use our bench might help us a little bit. Uh, again, I thought it helped us on Wednesday and it almost helped the other ones get more energized that they maybe didn't feel like they had to do it all. Um, and I, you know, as a coach, you, you look at yourself and say, did I get away from, from using our depth like I needed to? So if we need to do that to win, then we'll do that. The objective is to win.